What's up everybody, this is Matt from Crunchmoo and I'm just here to put out a quick video. I mean, well when I say quick, I mean probably about 15 minutes, but uh, not a very long video because I'm just making this to show everybody who might be a little bit on the fence about the, the new Bioshock DLC, like what it's about. Because uh, this is Clash in the Clouds. If you have the season pass for Bioshock Infinite, you don't have to pay anything for it, and if you don't have it, uh, it's five dollars. Honestly, after the whole announcement they made yesterday with the DLC about not only this but with the burial at sea, you guys should just go run out and get the season pass now because it sounds awesome. But if you were on the fence uh, or whatever and wanted to see how good this one was, I'll uh, give you a little look, see at what it's about. I can't guarantee you I'm going to be any good at it, but uh, we'll we'll give it a shot. I have all the maps uh, unlocked already because you only start off with the first one here, which is uh, Ops Zeal, and then these three. Uh, are locked. I've bought them all, so I'm just going to do a quick run through of uh, all of them for you. Haven't played the last two, so that should be fun. You're going to see me get my ass kicked. But uh, alright, so we start out here. We have the four maps. Uh, not much to see here, really. It's just the uh, stage select. Over here, quickly, you can just save your progress if you need to with that book. Two uh, vending machines if you have enough cash to buy something there. And over here is probably my personal favorite part of the uh, whole entire DLC. This is uh, definitely fan service. This is the museum part of the whole thing. We got six kinetoscopes here. Uh, this one is uh, the Courtney Draper and Troy Baker audition tape, which is pretty cool. Don't have it yet. I haven't really bought much in here because they're a lot of money. Uh, Songbird storyboard, motion capture. I bought this one because it's only $100, musical melodies. Uh, handyman and Love Story. So if you know the kinetoscopes from the main game, pretty much the same exact style. I'm curious to see what some of the other ones look like though. These uh, record players right here are four songs that have been remixed in the game. You've probably heard most of them in the campaign. I don't remember hearing Shiny Happy People, but I'm very curious to hear it. So you got Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Shiny Happy People, Fortunate Son, and Tainted Love, which I have bought. I'm not going to play it now, but it's a very good song if you haven't heard the remix version. Here you got a giant songbird statue, don't have it yet, don't have anything over here. And then we got uh, concept art on the back wall and model statues on these front panels here. And this goes around the whole museum, so it's pretty awesome. You guys, if you're a big fan of Bioshock Infinite, you'll definitely uh, enjoy yourself there with what you can buy. So let's head now to the, um, by the way, this says employees only. Uh, there appears to be, oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if you can go there. You actually go there while you're playing through the maps. So there, that explains that. So let's start it out with the first map, Obzeal. Those blue ribbons underneath each picture are for the blue ribbon challenges. They make the game a little bit harder. You basically, it, this is basically wave defense if you don't know. You go through each wave, there's 15 waves, obviously they get progressively harder, much like any other game would have a similar story. Uh, like, okay, so I'm fighting soldiers in this first wave, and I, the, the blue ribbon challenge is to defeat it using only skyline strikes. So stuff like that, they just limit what you can do. It's, uh, I'm probably not going to go for many of them right now, because I'm just going to do a straight playthrough. But we'll see how that goes. Got a guy right here. See, I already failed the blue ribbon challenge, because I killed him without a skyline strike. So that's how that works. There's an achievement for, uh, for, for doing all of them, which is probably going to be very hard to the point where I'm not going to get it. Alright, so there was a guy right here. Don't know where he is. The shotgun in this game is an absolute beast. Elizabeth follows you around in this mode too. She can sometimes get in the way of your gunfire, so watch out where you're shooting. Um, nope, there was somebody here. There's Elizabeth, I believe. Really, this should not be taking me this long. Probably not going to jump down there. Oh, these doors right here, you uh, you can, like, when you die, you can automatically resurrect yourself, but they do cost money, so watch out for that. I usually try to avoid that. When you die in this uh, mode, you can either, you know, go back to the museum, or you can continue from where you left off, but by doing so, you lose your uh, earnings that you've made. Alright, there was somebody... Oh, he's, he's on the skyline, that makes sense. Got him. Yeah, they start out very simple, the waves. They do get progressively harder. I really can't do much in the second stage so far. I'm not particularly good at this game. Then again, I haven't played it very often lately. So I probably just need to practice some more. But, uh, yeah, the first one, they obviously increase in difficulty. I shudder to think what the last two is going to be like. All right, so this is what I was talking about before. This is where it separates from employees only. Oh, okay, so you can also go back that way. All right. 
So yeah, this is just basically a stock up screen before the next wave. You can buy stuff, uh, vigors, and, and you got your guns here. So pretty decent. I, I like to, to stick with the carbine and the shotgun, so that's what, just what I'm going to do. All right. So with the, each wave starts you in a different spot. You can also jump through walls, apparently. The shotgun, I, I will never get over the shotgun. It's unbelievable. This guy thinks he's clever. Almost shot Elizabeth. That could have been bad. Whoa, okay, buddy. Oh, you have no head now. Not have not used a vigor yet. I already failed the challenge. I believe this challenge was to not take health damage. Yep, definitely failed that. You can also loot people's bodies like in the campaign. It does help a lot by getting uh, some cash, but you'll probably be too caught up in the moment to even remember. At least that's what happens with me a lot. Alright, so wave complete. I'm actually not... I, I could probably make it a decent decent length into this, but I'm going to stop around uh, after wave 5, because wave 5 is the handyman fight. And uh, it's really not that hard, but uh, I'm just going to give you a little taste of what each level has to entail. The other uh, maps are probably not even going to make it to wave 5, so we'll see how that goes. I'll just give you a little show of what's in here. You bas your basic stuff from the campaign, if you've played it, just uh, stuff to improve your guns. There's a lot of stuff here. I, I think it all carries over, too, in, in this mode. Uh, yes, and uh, the Vigor upgrades, so yeah, it's all the same. This is, you can earn infusions and, uh, and gear and stuff while playing. I'm not quite sure how they give it away, but I've earned a couple of them already, so that's always good. Alright, so already, did not even know what the challenge was. You gotta watch out for that stuff. Let me just miss every shot, that's good. Let's open that rocket up for shits and giggles. I already failed the challenge. And we're done. That was quick. That's not going to be good. Okay. Alright, do it again. Elizabeth, whoa. Taking a tumble. she back? There she is. That's magic for you right there. Alright, wave four. This, uh, I should have left it on that screen, but this also adds uh, volley gunners to the mix now. So we got soldiers and volley gunners. Uh, yeah. And it also tells you in the top corner what wave it is, your score, and stuff like that, and how many enemies are left. I already failed the challenge. Alright. Didn't even shoot my gun. That Tesla coil probably did it. Getting hit. There he is. Oh, these guys. Whoa, okay. Is that a trap for these bad boys? Didn't do shit. Elizabeth, you startled me. I'm already gonna... I'm hitting my own electricity, that's good. Alright, let's get some shield back. There he is. Two guys up there. Excuse me, sir. Let's just take him out. Alright. And whenever the, you got one guy left, he's marked on your map with a uh, yellow icon, even though I can't see him. There he is. There's no yellow icon over his head, so... I lied. So, let's get up there. Almost knocked me off. You're, you're a sly fellow. <sighs> wow, alright. Electricity with buckshot explodes your head. That's good. Let's see what we got here. Don't care. Don't care. Alright. Now, I'm going to end it after this next wave, just showing you. I, I assume, I haven't made it to wave 10 yet, but I'm assuming like maybe every five levels there's a semi-boss kind of wave. For this one, I'm just going to switch to the RPG and the hand cannon. It's my uh, personal favorite combo for dealing with the handymen in this mode at least you're not so lucky in the campaign so there he is all right. let's get up there get up there all right thought i fell to my death come here bro right in the face complete waste of a rocket there we go how about that how about missing how about missing again let's just uh keep doing that all right that hurts Oh, he's partially resisting the shock jockey. How about water? Nope. Elizabeth could really go for some, uh, thank you. Please hurry. Thanks. So, yeah, you just spam, uh, the rockets, and you're pretty much good to go. He also gives you a lot of loot, too, so, uh... After this, I'm gonna go back to the, the, uh, archaeological museum so I don't lose my money that I got. You're gonna need a lot of money if you want to unlock all the stuff here. So let's just quickly end this.
that's the uh, first map. It's pretty much all the same stuff. Just gets harder and harder. Didn't beat my high score. I'm probably gonna. I hopefully I'm gonna beat my high score in the next stage because it's pretty embarrassing. And the last two, I don't know what to expect, so that should be entertaining. All right, loading. All right, I did not. I do not want to start off with an RPG and a uh, hand cannon, but I might have to. It's completely going the wrong way. All right, Duke and Dimwit Theater. Personally, the Duke and Dimwit sketches in the campaign are some of the best parts. Obviously, I love Bioshock Infinite. It's an absolutely fantastic game. The story is brilliant. I love the ending. Duke and Dimwit was a cool little addition. I always, uh, I always got a nice smile on my face whenever I saw some of those skits. First wave start you out with RPG soldiers, so you know they're really, uh, they're really taking their shit seriously now. Defeat all enemies with a shotgun. Too bad I don't have one. Made the mistake last time of jumping down there. Don't want to do that. That would hurt. Head up to the top. How you guys doing? Okay. Somebody went flying. Reload. Should have switched guns. Don't want to. It's okay. Something's really taking... Oh, all right. That one hurt. Elizabeth could go for some health. Maybe these guys have health. No, they don't. Oh, wow. All right. Something... What the hell? Oh, okay. That guy wasn't dead. Oh, <laughs> just to add insult to injury. Why not? That thing is shooting me the whole time. That makes sense. Alright, at least I got some shield back. Come on, man. There we go. Wave complete. Don't think I made it past wave two the last time I played this, so it should be fun. I think they, uh, I think they take away the rails, if I'm not mistaken, for the next one. It's not fun. It's, it's really not fun being stuck on the ground. Getting pelted. You do get your health back at the end of each wave, so that definitely helps me out. Gonna switch my guns. Gotta get the shotgun. Don't want the machine gun. Carbine. How about that? Alright. At least I got over $1,000 so far. Yeah, there's a Patriot here. Let's open this rocket up. Team Rocket. Bad joke. Okay, would really like to get up there. Really would. There we go. Oh, this. All right. Who that? Was that Elizabeth? <sighs> I think it was this guy actually. Who did I kill him? I didn't even barely hit him. All right. That was something. All right. Got a sandwich. Didn't do shit. Whoa! <sighs> that guy. Come on. That's not fair. That's almost unfair. Well, didn't expect it to be that short, but you saw what that map looked like, semi. So let's go back to the Archaeological Society and try the next ones. And once again, I'm not doing this to, uh, you know, do, give you a serious, you know, completion of playthrough. I'm just giving it for people who uh, might be on the fence about it to check it out and see if they like it. I personally think it's awesome, especially with the fan service in the museum. Totally worth $5. It's really a good way to hold you over, especially for the next DLC. The next one's called Raven's Dome. So yeah, also if you have the season pass, it's free, so you don't got to deal with that. But uh, highly, I, I recommend it. I'll, I might change my opinion once I get my ass royally kicked in the next two maps. But uh, no, it, it's a good DLC. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Obviously, I'm not playing it to be serious because I, I haven't even played on most of these maps extensively, so I'm not very good at it. This one is the first one that I, I really haven't played on at all. So this is a, a new one to me. Actually, it looks pretty awesome, though. Alright, there's a lot of sentries around, I'm probably going to have to use possession. Where do we start off? Taking us on a tour, how about that? There we are. Like the giant tree. Let me, uh... Okay, so fighting soldiers, defeat all enemies with skyhook melee. That's pretty easy. I'm going to switch this out for, uh, possession. Possession if I can find it. There it is. Didn't know it was a heart with a knife to do it, now I do. Here they come. How about you? Open this up. Alright, dude, you're gonna have to take it. Forgot about the melee thing. Oh well. Maybe next time. Honestly, all you really need to pick is at least a shotgun for most of these chapters, because it's just unbelievable. 
decoy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fool me. How about that? How about you go, go attack your buddies? Yeah, there you go. Fr friend kill. Yeah, he was really friendly to me. Well, this seems a lot less uh, intense than the last one started out as. I'll tell you that. All right, I, I'm racking up some big bucks. I'm happy about that. It's really all, all last night. I was just grinding on the first map, trying to get money for stuff in the museum. Didn't get much. All right, so defeat all enemies with a pistol. Not even going to try that. There we go. I, I got an infusion, so I guess they just drop it at random or something like that. I like to make things a little bit even, so I try to balance everything out equally. No gear, though. All right, so let's move on. Starting the next wave. Wave two. Seven enemies left. I am on a ship. Might want to stand a little bit further away from the edge. There's a lot of stuff to open. Dude, you blended in right with the tear. I thought you were a tear. Something shooting at me. Oh, this guy. You okay, buddy? Completely missed the mark. Oh well, you, I don't even have to go up there. You're done. Nut shot. Couldn't unzoom for some reason. Hello, sir. Take a shotgun to the face. Gotta reload. I'm gonna die. Actually, that might be better if I did. But I'm gonna actually try and sustain life. Try to do a nice quick scope. Did not work. Excuse me, your bullets are hurting me. My bullets hurt you more than This gun looks like a piece of shit. Effective though. Cannot go through the glass. Goodbye, crew world. Uh... Right, right by the glass again. All right, I've made it farther in, in in map three than I made it in map two. That should not happen. Defeat all enemies using the undertow vigor. I'm gonna definitely try to do that one. That should be fun. Let's, let's get that out right now. Octopus. That's the one. So before I got this DLC, it's been about three months since I even played the game. It's a fantastic game. The ending just... That's some heavy stuff, man. You can't just uh, play that right back to back. At least I can. So I'm going to not open that up because I really am going to... Alright. That wasn't even a fall. Come on. Got one. Got two. Where the hell did that other guy go? <laughs> he just probably jumped off on his own will. Give me some salt. Yeah. It was... Right in the face, man. Oh, well. Or did I get shot in mid- Oh, I got shot in midair. That sucks. Probably should've used guns, but that's that's the beauty of the Blue Ribbon Challenge. You don't know what you're gonna get. So let's try out the last map. I'm curious, it was the most money. So the second map costs you, I believe, $250. The third map costs you $500. And the fourth one costs you $1,000. The last map also gives you the most achievement points for beating it. So it must be the hardest. Let's give it a shot. Pori Arcade. Well, I like arcades, so hopefully it's fun. <sighs> loading screens all over the place. At least it's not like uh, Sonic 06 or Duke Nukem Forever loading screens. This is uh, this is heaven on earth compared to those games. Especially Sonic 06, man. That that was out of this world. <laughs> I might actually play that sometime, so keep an eye out. Alright, Patriots all over the place. That's not good. And just some random dude. Looks like a fireman. Yeah, so not these maps aren't all that big. Uh, they're, they're very closed, confined areas, but they, they offer you different possibilities, I see, to you know mix up your strategy, which I should probably do because I keep using the same guns, and obviously I'm not successful with it. So Patriots, right off the bat, that's good. Defeat an enemy affected by bucking Bronco with a possessed motorized Patriot. Alright, not even going to try that right now. Hey, what's up, bro? E. There's an E. Why not? You fall easy. Already, already, already I'm going to fucking die. Thanks, Elizabeth. You're a big help. Where was this guy? People just like to disappear. 
There's some people. Whoa, okay. Well, kiss, to, kiss goodbye. There you go. First, first time. 304 points. That's humiliating. Um, I would say I'll try it again, but I'm probably not going to make it that much farther, so... At least that's a little taste of the maps. I'm going to take a quick trip to the museum, see what, see what I can get. I'll pro I'll actually, I'll buy the uh, Songbird statue, see what that looks like. So that's how we're going to end the video, buying the glorious statue of Songbird. Watch it be just like a little action figure, that would, that would be fucked up. Alright, run! Run like your life depends on it. We're going over 20 minutes now, didn't really want to make this a 20 minute video, but hey, we got another 20 minute video. Alright. Songbird model. George Washington would be proud. Oh, that is... That is sick. That's pretty fucking... Let me look at this from a distance. That's awesome. That That is a piece anybody needs in their museum, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you right now. So, with that being said, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the gameplay, however shitty it was. And uh, if you like the way the DLC looks, I definitely recommend it. Especially if you're a lot better than me at this game, because you'll definitely have a lot of fun with it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day.